Hello everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we'll be discussing about the functions available in Tableau. So, Tableau offers you a set of functions like sort, set, highlight, device designer, etc, etc. So, uh, before we get started, I would like to tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek and continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you can never miss an update from Simply Learn. So, without further ado, let's directly dive into the agenda for today's discussion. So at first we'll understand what exactly a set function is, then we'll understand the sort function. Next we have the join and union and why do we use it. After that we have the highlight function in W, then we have the device designer and finally the forecast. Now these are the functions in W that we will be discussing today. Don't worry, I'll explain each one of them with practical examples so that you have a better learning experience. Now let's dive into the first one which is the set. So what exactly is a set? So sets in W are basically a set of elements. Basically, if you have some variety of columns and rows, then you customize some selected data. For example, if you have a set of uh, cars sales data, and inside that you have some details about the horsepower, the price values, the resale values, etc, etc. And you wanted to make a set of the cars with the highest horsepower. Then you can do that just by adding some conditions onto your data. So that's what the set functions in Tableau basically do. So we have an example on our screen right now. So this is how the set function will be implemented in Tableau and you'll be getting some similar kind of output. Now we'll go back to Tableau and try to do it practically. Now we are back on Tableau and uh, in Tableau uh, let's try to make a set and uh, for that let's create a new sheet. Yeah, now let's rename this sheet as set function. Okay, now let's try to drag the uh, engine size onto columns. Now we have the engine size on our columns. Now the next, let's choose the horsepower. So we have our horsepower on the rows. Now you can see that we have a resultant dot, which is the total number of uh, engine size values and total number of horsepowers, including of all the cars. Now let's try to drag the manufacturer into the details part, so that we have the um, you know, kind of which manufacturer has the horsepower values and the engine size, etc, etc. So we have the Ford and the overall, according to the uh, data set we have, the overall engine size is 36.60. Now it's not, you know, this is not the kind of data you want to look at. So now let's remove the manufacturer from here and let's select the model. Yeah, now we have a little more detailed one. Just hover onto, yeah, you can see this. So we have the model Corvette and the engine size is 5.7 liters and the horsepower is 345. Now let's try to drag the manufacturer again onto the details so that we can have also the name of manufacturer. So we have the uh, manufacturer Chevrolet, model Corvette, engine size and horsepower. Now we have the data what we needed. Now let's try to create a set. Now to create a set, you might want to have to select the, let's undo that. Yeah. Now to create a set, you might want to select uh, the uh, values on here. So these are the selected parts we have with the highest horsepower. Now let's right click and then we have uh, an option called create set in the last option. 
Now let's just try to rename the set name. Now we have it as set to one. Now let's try to name it as um, horsepower set. And uh, before we select OK, if you want to eliminate some names or cars, you can do that as well. For example, if you want to eliminate Cadillac de Valle, you can just select and uh, remove it. Or you can also do it in this way. Cadillac Escalade, you can just exclude it and it's, it'll be gone. Yeah, something like that. And if you want this set to be added onto the filters tab or filter shelf, you can just select it over here and it'll be automatically done. For now, I think we don't need it onto the filter shelf, so we'll just select OK. And there you go, we have the horsepower set over here. Now to watch the uh, set what we created over here in a pictorial way or a graphical way, you can just drag that and uh, you can just add it over the chart pane. Now, if you wanted to look at the data which you have in your set, then you can just drag that set onto the color option and you'll be having a different color on your data, which is present in your set. Now, you can just right click on it and you can uh, make some changes to it. If you wanted to make or if you wanted to keep this, you can just uh, click on the option keep only and if you wanted to exclude it, you can just select exclude and it'll be gone. So, this is how you use sets in Tableau. Now let's move on to the next function which happens to be the sort function. So what exactly is sort? So when you open Tableau, you can see some options on Tableau which are the uh, some bar kind of things on the toolbar. So these are basically sort options. So sort in Tableau is a function which is readily available for the user to sort the resultant data in the form of ascending or descending order. So we have a sample picture which shows the sort functions used in real time. Now let's get back to the tableau and see it for real. So now we have the highest pricing chart over here. Yeah, you can see, that. yeah, let's select this one. So we have multiple car manufacturers and the car models available in that particular section. Now. These are kind of irregularly sorted. Now one press of this button, which happens to be sorted descending by sum of horsepower within model, you see, within model, all the models are sorted according to the horsepower. So the first one in Buick, the Regal model, which has the highest horsepower 240, and the next highest is 205, second 205, and then 175. So this is how the models are been sorted. Now you can make this look a bit more uh, colorful just by dragging the model onto color and you can see the different colors. So that's how it is. Now followed by sort, we'll move on to the next one which happens to be the join and union. Now the join and union are completely similar to the join and union functions which you basically use in the SQL and database. So you can see on the left part, we have the four different types of joins, which are the inner, left, right, and full outer. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. So join and union in Tableau are used to combine data from different sources, and they're completely similar to the ones in SQL and database operations. Now imagine that you have various kinds of data sources and you need to work on those various types of data sources in Tableau. For example, consider that uh, you have some uh, shopping data, some store data. So you have the customer data separately and uh, the product data separately. And uh, let's assume that in both the tables, we have one common column that is the order ID. So the customer will be requesting for a product and will be creating an order ID. 
and uh, in the product table you'll be having uh, the product data along with the requested product with its order id when you have such kind of uh, common column then you can basically join the two data sets and uh, no matter what if you have the orders data in uh, notepad and the product data in excel format you can do it you can join them it doesn't matter if you have the data source in different formats so that's why we have uh, join and union in tableau so let's get back to tableau and try to do it manually so now i have uh, kind of uh, Excel. Now let's select the store data. Repeat. And you have the store data. And uh, now let's try to add uh, the new data set. Now for that you just need to select the add option. Now we have the other options. Now we have already included Microsoft Excel. Now let's try to include the CSV file, the text file. So I've already created one. So this happens to be the returns data. Now there you go. You have both the data sets over here, which is the Microsoft Excel and the Microsoft, not Microsoft, it's text file. So you can see the new union option over here. You can use new union option and try to combine both of them based on the order ID, which is present in both the tables. So this is how the uh, join and union basically work in Tableau. Now let's try to continue with the next one. The next one is highlight. The highlight function is pretty simple. You just have to, you know, select the option which you want to showcase. It's as simple as the name is. So the highlight in Tableau is a function readily available to help the user to highlight a specific data out of the complete file. So basically you can see my screen and on the screen we have the data set and we have a resultant bar chart and on that we have the highest pricing of a particular car manufacturer and when you hover on to that particular bar and select it then you can see that that particular bar has been highlighted now this data is also the same one and on the right side part i've just selected the bmw car manufacturer and you can see the cars highlighted are based on that particular car maker now we are back on Tableau and now we have the same data over here. Now let's just kind of sort it again. And you see here and now if I select uh, the Mercedes Benz, you can see that particular car has been highlighted over here. So that's how we use highlight function. And you can see if you want to disable highlighting, you can do it by just clicking this button, disable workbook highlighting. So now with this, let's move ahead into the next kind of function, which happens to be the device designer. So device designer is really simple. There is no rocket science in that. It's basically the kind of device you're working with. So if you have the uh, tablet installed in your tablet, then you can just select the tablet option so that your dashboard is clearly visible according to the screen size of your table or tablet. And if you're using a desktop, then you can select the desktop option and you can directly do it. Now let's get back to Tableau and check the device designer. So basically the device designer is used to check the layout of the dashboard you have. You can select the fit width, fit height and entire view. So you also have the options for making your dashboard look in the phone mode. And you can either select the default where your device automatically selects the kind of uh, view it wants to show. So that's how the device designer is used in real time. Now let's get back to the next one, which is the forecast. So forecast is one interesting function used in real time. So let's imagine that you wanted to have an information based on the future sales on the product based on the current data available. Now you can do that by using the forecast function in your tableau. So as you can see on my screen, I have some information available based on the sample data. Now we have the sales charts on 2014, 15, 16, 17 and uh, 
if you wanted to predict the data of sales in the next upcoming year, which is 2018, I'm seeing 2018 as the future year here because the data set what we have only has information until 2017. So that's the reason I'm saying the future year 2018. Don't, don't worry a lot about it. We can actually change it in the data set if you wanted to. Now let's see this practically happening in Tableau. Now we are back on Tableau and uh, we are about to create the forecast thing. So we have the uh, measures and dimensions on the left part. Now let's try to uh, drag the uh, sales. Now we are dragging sales onto rows and uh, we are going to drag the order date onto the columns. So we have uh, the graph over here. Now if you kind of uh, press that uh, little plus button and then you can see the sales happening according to 14, 15, 16 and 17 here. Now let's try to select the analytics to create the uh, forecast thing. Now you just have to, uh, you can see the forecast button over here, right? You can just have to uh, double click on that and you can see that uh, the W is predicting the sales over here and this is the best uh, case and this is the worst case of sales and this is kind of the average so this is how the forecast works in real time now with this we have finished the functions in Tableau. if you have any queries regarding the functions used in this particular tutorial then please feel free to ask down in the comment section below and our team of experts will be really happy to help you out on that. And uh, if you're looking for the data sets used in this particular tutorial, then please feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. And we'll be sending that to you. No worries on that. So with that, we have reached to the end of this particular session. I hope it was informative and interesting. Until next time, thank you and uh, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.